On today's episode, it's another Topaz blast from the past. Today, it's one of my favorites, Topaz Restyle. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thanks for joining me on today's episode. Today, it is a blast from the past. I'm looking at one of my favorite pieces of Topaz software that I still use today because I love it so much, and it's called Topaz Restyle. Now, we have something similar in uh, Topaz Studio, too, which I'll show you briefly here in a sec. But to start things off, I wanted to show you a couple of examples of what you can do with Topaz Restyle. So here's an image. It's just a stock image. It's a really cool image. Drink coffee, be cool. I like it. And I sent this into Topaz Restyle and I came back with this image. Isn't that cool? Something a little different. A little bit of color grading. Now Topaz Restyle is all about color grading. And I love to color grade images and that's why I love it so much. So again, it starts out looking like this. And it ends up looking like this. Now, I have this other image here of some hummingbirds. And this is another stock image. But I thought, what would it look like if I did some color grading on it? So I sent it into Topaz Restyle, did some work on it, and I came back with this image. I really like this. It's more pastel, more muted, but it still has some nice contrast. And I like it. So again, here's the original. And here it is reinterpreted after Topaz Restyle. So this is the kind of stuff you can do, and it's a really fun piece of software to play around in and really get creative. And then I have this image, which is another stock image. Now, this is a portrait, and I thought color grading portraits go hand in hand, don't they? So I want to see what kind of results we can get. I'm going to send this into Topaz Restyle, and I'm going to show you how I can work on this particular image just to show you the power of Topaz Restyle. But before I do that, let me hop into uh, Topaz Studio 2. Here we are in Topaz Studio 2. And you can still purchase Topaz Studio 2, by the way. I hope that continues in the future. But let's come up here to Add Filter because I want to show you the closest thing we have to Topaz Restyle in here. And that would be the Quad Tone filter right here. So let me click on Quad Tone. Let's click on Presets. And you'll notice we have some presets here. Gosh, they give us four presets. Isn't that nice? I wish you gave us more Topaz, but we got four presets here. Uh, one's called Bread and Wine. Let's click on it. Uh, there's a color grading right there called Bread and Wine. Here's Burnt Orange and uh, something. Burnt Orange and Blue. Here's Teal and Turquoise. Here's Vapor Wave. And of course, you can take these opacities and pull these back if you just want to apply a little bit to it. So you can achieve pretty much similar results in uh, Topaz Studio 2. The only difference here would be, let's click apply and apply that one. The only difference is they give you four colors to work with or four different tones to work with where in uh, Topaz Restyle, you actually get five and it's a lot more powerful in my humble opinion as you'll see here shortly but what really makes it fantastic is all of its uh, presets which th th it'll blow your mind because what makes topaz restyle so great is all the presets and there are a ton before i launch topaz restyle i want you to know there's a sale going on at topaz labs right now gigapixel ai is on sale for 79.99 that's a 20 dollar savings and the image quality bundle which includes gigapixel denoise and sharpen ai all for 159.99 on sale that's a 99 dollar and 98 cent savings and if you use my promo code david kelly that's all one word you'll save an extra 15 percent off these sale prices just click on my affiliate link in the description below it'll take you to these sales i make a small commission when you use my affiliate link and promo code and that helps me to keep these tutorials coming your way which i love to bring them to you now i'm working out of photoshop today and i'm going to launch topaz restyle as a plugin so let me go ahead and come up here to filter and i'll launch topaz restyle and we'll get started here we are in topaz restyle now i love the interface if you watch my last two blasts from the past tutorials i showed you impression and topaz simplify and just like those two pieces of software this is a great interface 
all of your adjustments are made on the right side of the interface and all of the presets you're going to find over here on the left side of the interface. Now, as I told you, you have five colors versus four colors in uh, Topaz Studio 2. And then you have some basic adjustments, and these come in really handy, especially temperature and tint and saturation, as well as black level, midtones, and white level. And then you have a detail section with structure and sharpness. I don't really use those here in Topaz Restyle because if I'm going to do those kind of adjustments, I'll do that in Photoshop. And you also have masking under the Restyle section and then you have some overall global masking. Again, I don't use those. I'll do that kind of stuff in Photoshop because that's just my workflow. This is not a full in-depth tutorial on Restyle, but however, you will learn a lot. And if you own this software, I hope that this tutorial will help you to say, you know what? I think I need to pull that piece of software back out again, especially if you love the color grade. This is a gold mine for those who like to color grade. Also, if you own the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, it works great with Topaz Restyle. And I'll show you an example of that after we send the Restyle result back to Photoshop. And now to the power of Topaz Restyle presets. So let's come over to the left side of the interface. Now, you see right here it says presets. You have a bunch of different presets here. Now, right now I'm, I'm under the fashion group. And if you hover over these names, and aren't these names cool, Rusted Grunge, Lemon Chiffon Coating, Cream and Midnight Blue, the folks at Topaz had a good time naming these presets. They're really named really cool, and I get a chuckle every time I read them. But when you hover over these names, you can see the result that you're going to get here. But I don't use it this way. I like to use collections, just like I showed you in Topaz Impression and Simplify. If you come up to this icon right here and click this, right now I'm on fashion. If I click this, you're going to see a whole bunch of presets. Now, some of them will look really horrible, but others will look really fantastic. But color grading is an art, but this gives you so many choices to choose from. You will literally be like a kid in a candy store, and I guarantee you, you have a lot of fun. And a piece of software like this where we're working with color grading presets are really great to have as you'll see here now we can go ahead and scroll through these presets like this isn't this cool and there's a lot in here now remember we're in the group called fashion right now but see right here where it says select collection click this it's a drop down there's architecture fashion graphic landscape and just a ton in here, okay? But right now we're under fashion. You'll also note, see this little camera here and the little star? If you get a favorite that you really like, you can star it and that'll save it in the uh, memory so that the next time you come back into Restyle, you can go under all your favorites. But what I like to use is when I'm trying to figure out a color grade that I want to use on my image, I use the camera. Because if you click on one that you like, like I like this one, Lemon Chiffon Coating. So let's click this camera. And now we're going to go ahead and scroll through this collection. And every time we like one, we'll click on the camera. And we can also go through different collections as well. Like I like this muted gray wall, so I'm going to click the camera. And I'll show you, it'll gather all those up at once. And we can just pick the ones that we think will work with our image. Like I like Salmon Pink Veil, so let me click the camera here. And I'm going for these uh, more, I don't know, sepia type looks. I'm going to go with this one. And again, I'm just trying to find something that I really like. Burnished Fawn. Don't you love these names? I'm going to pick that one. But you can go through and you're going to find a lot of beautiful black and white like this bleach silver. Look at that. That's beautiful. So it's not just color. It's black and white as well. Here's a nice one. Fading Antique Brass. Now, again, I'm under the fashion category. And I thought I'd start here because we have a model, a beautiful portrait that we're working with. Okay, pale taupe. Let's try that one. And this one's not bad, cyan tinted tea rose. Now you're going to find some that you're going to look like shades of brown. You may not like that. But here's one, faded tangerine. I'm going to go ahead and click that camera. Okay. And we can go through and take a look here. And then if you want to go to a different group, just come to the drop down and let's try maybe um, Moody. And there's one called Landscape. Try Landscape too. I don't care if it's a portrait. You want to try different color grading. 
I don't know how many different presets are in here, but there are a lot. Like Cambridge Battleship, that's kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and click the camera on that one. Uh, here's one. It's Warm Steel Wash. Not really into that one as much, but let's go ahead and click it. And let's take a look. Now, we're under, I believe, Moody right now. Here's a nice faded look right here. And again, you can go and alter these adjustments. This is just a starting point for us, okay? So let's look through some more here and see if I can find anything else. Let me go to a different category. That was Moody. Let me try, let's try Portrait. Gosh, I have a Portrait. I haven't tried Portrait yet. So let's try Portrait and see if there's something here. If you find one you like, let me know. I wish you could. That would be cool. Penetrating Silver. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to go ahead and click the camera on that. But I just want you to see all the choices that you have. Soft Siam Fade. I like that a whole lot. Okay, I think I have enough. You get the point how powerful this is, right? It's all about these presets. Now, if you come up here and click the camera, you're going to see all the ones that I picked. So now we can narrow down our search. So now what do I want? Uh, I'm going to go with something like, I do like the fading, fading antique brass. Boy, if I could talk, it would be great. Okay. You know what? I think that one's catching my eye the most. The fading antique brass. Or is it pale taupe? You know what? I think it's pale taupe. So if you want that one, just click on it and that'll take you into back to the interface where we can go ahead and we can edit. If you don't want to see the presets on the left, you can click this arrow and they'll go away. But let's go ahead and make some adjustments. Now notice here we have hue, saturation, and luminance. I usually like to start with luminance, so I'm going to come and click on luminance. Now we have a primary, a secondary, a third, a fourth, and a fifth. And you can see the different colors that are represented here in our color grade. So what I like to do is just start working with these. Like, let's work with the primary. Let's lighten it up a little bit. I might just lighten up that primary color a little bit. Then I'll go with the secondary. I'll lighten it, darken it, see which way I want to go. Maybe a slight lightening of that. Then I'll go to my third. And you can see our hair, the nice uh, brown in the hair. I might lighten that up a little wee bit. And let's try the fourth. I want to lighten up the fourth. Darken it. I think I'll just double click fourth and leave it where it was. And let's try the fifth. I think I'm going to leave that too. I'm going to double click that. And then you can go to saturation and work with the saturation of the primary, secondary, and so on. Let's add some more saturation in the primary. See, too much. Don't like that. I'm going to double click primary and set that back. Let's try the secondary. Good idea to try these. And um, But I find the luminance is the one I tend to use the most. I think the other colors are looking pretty good. Let's try the third. So if I bring that third up, it's, it's working with the reds in here. Okay, so I might just give that just a little bit more. And as far as the fourth and fifth, let me see if I reduce the colors in the fourth and fifth. No, I think they're good where they are. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to leave the fifth where it is. And then you can alter the hue if you want. But in my case, I think I'm good. If you left click on the canvas, you can see there's the before. And here is the after. So I really like it. I think it's good. Now I like to go into a uh, temperature and we can see what happens if I warm it a little bit. No, I don't like that. I think I'm going to cool it just a little wee bit. Maybe somewhere right around in there. And what would happen if I would add a little bit of magenta? You know what? I do like a little magenta in there. Not much, but just a little wee bit. And then we could take the saturation, give it more or less. I made cut it back a little bit. I think that's going to give it a nice look. You know what? I do like that right there. And then we have tone. We can adjust our black level. So if you want some more contrast, you can take the black level and move it to the left and see how I can get more contrast or move it to the right and get more of a faded look. I think I'll just move it to the right slightly. And then we can work with our midtones, lighten the midtones or darken the midtones. Midtones are looking pretty good. I'm going to double click that and get it back to where it was. And then the white level. If the white level is too much, we can take it and pull it back just a tiny bit. Maybe something like that. Once I do that, I may go back and revisit the midtones. Okay, yeah. 
I think I'll just add just a little bit to the midtones. Here's the before and here is the after. And with that, I think I'm happy. So now all I have to do is click the OK in the bottom right hand corner of the interface and we'll go back to Photoshop. And we are back in Photoshop. So let me show you the before. Here is the before. It was a nice image, but check this out. I think this looks much better. Here is the after. I have more detail in the face and it just really looks like a more elegant image in my opinion. Again, here is the before and here is the after. I really like it, but let me show you what you can do with uh, the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. You could come to this icon right here. This will attach a layer mask onto the layer that you're on. And what I like to do is experiment here. I like to see what this image would look like with say maybe a luminosity mask on it, say like a mid-tones too. And you can see what it looks like, right? It kind of tones back the effect a little bit. So if I click this X right here, you can see there it is without it, there it is with it. But isn't that beautiful? I kind of like that. And then if you want to say, well, what's a Midtones 3 look like? It looks like that. And again, you can click this X and get rid of that mask. And here it is with it. I do like that as well. So far, 2 is working. You could try a Lights 1 on it. Don't like that so much. Let's try a Darks 1. Darks 1 is pretty nice. Let's uh, see what it looks like without that. Let's click the X. I don't know. I like the Darks 1. It's between the Darks 1 and Midtones 2. Let's try Midtones 2. I think I like Midtones 2. And again, let's see what the overall effect looks like if I shut it off. I'll shut it off. That's the original one. Now it looks like this. Beautiful toned down a bit, but I love the color grading on here. Now, if you want more of the uh, restyle effect to show through, just come to your properties panel and uh, make sure that you are on the mask and pull the density back and you'll let more of the actual restyle start to show through. And you see how the mask is getting lighter. But I think I'm going to put it right about at 85%. And now let's uh, get rid of the mask. It would look like this without the mask. This is what it looks like with the mask. And here it is without the restyle color grade. And here it is with it. But the TK8 plugin for Photoshop works really well with any kind of color grading. But really with restyle, it does a great job. It's a one-two punch. Well, there you go, everyone. That was Topaz Restyle. If you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.